Hello. I don't know if we're quite on yet, but um, I am going to have some coffee. Coffee, coffee before I fall asleep. If you are here, say hello. This is going to be a fun live because it's all of YouTube. Usually I just go live on Patreon. Why am I so like facey right now? Um, but if you're here, say hi. I don't know if it's quite live yet. I think I am. Yay. Hello. Um, uh, I'm so excited. This is going to be one of those really fun lives where we make fun stuff. Letty's here. Hi, Letty. Um, we're going to be making paper doll dresses. I'm just trying to wake myself up. It's been one of those weekends. Um, hello. Hello, Vicky. Hi, how are you? Um, I say um a lot. This is my last few days before I mail out all of my Patreon for the month. And so I'm tired. <laughs> I think I mail out like 150 pieces of mail, most of which are packages. So I'm just breathing. I've been trying to enjoy the process more. Um, Cause I think before I was just trying to be all business. Hello everyone, Edith, hello. Morgan's here, hi Morgan. Hello Rita, oh thank you. Target, I'm a Target girl. Um, good morning. I have, oh my gosh, Edith, I have Francie's here. Hi, Francie. Oh, we can cheers. Cheers, Francie. <laughs> Hello, Freedom. I don't know your name. Hi, Jasmine. All my pals are here. Um, so I'm trying to like remember like that this is like a really wonderful privilege to be able to do this. Um, and it's been so much fun to like kind of reframe, like, cause before I was like, packaging is so hard. Like I love the creating, the creating part's the easy, wonderful part. And then I realized, oh man, I have to ship everything. But even that I've been trying to reframe the way I think, because like, it's such a wonderful privilege that I'm just trying to reframe the way I think about shipping, not creating, the creating is the easy, fun part. Um, hi, Andrea. Oh, hi. Hey, welcome. Oh, Christine's here. Hi, Christine. No, <laughs> I have a, the wardrobe of a clown, Morgan. <laughs> I'm your like crafty clown. That's what I'm going to call myself. Okay, I need to stop drinking coffee. Let's get to work, folks. Today, and I think I put it in the description, um, we are going to be making these paper, paper doll dresses. I hope they're tappable. Levi, bless your heart, you're here. Um, today, we're going to be making these paper doll dresses. I put the description I put the links all in the description I hope they're tappable if not when this live is over I will go through and like edit them um but since I copy and pasted I was like oh geez I hope that these are all tappable but these are um paper doll dresses using digitals from Tu Casa de Papel um she is on Etsy she is on Instagram she is on YouTube I'm going to be making these live, so sometimes, yes, right, more coffee. <gasps> Maureen's here. Hi, Maureen. Happy Easter. I don't really celebrate Easter, but happy Easter. <laughs> Hi, Cece. How are you? Um, so if you are looking to get these paper doll dresses, they're very inexp inexpensive. They're very accessible. You can find them over on um, her Etsy shop. And I'm going to be making them live. So I know live isn't always the best way to learn. So if you want a very concise, wonderful tutorial, head over to her YouTube channel because she has a wonderful tutorial where she shows exactly how to do it. Very up close, very detailed. Um, but I thought it'd be fun to make them together. So I added these little hangers because that's how I vibe, you guys. I got them at Daiso. Let me show you what the package looks like. Um, I only have one left. I feel like I'm like coveting it. So this is what they look like. Hi, Liz. Liz is here. Hi, my friend. Um, they're from Daiso. I actually originally had bought them thinking months ago. I don't even remember. Probably maybe even last year. Uh, maybe January. And I didn't even know why. I was like, I just have to have these. They're just so stinking cute. They're like little filigree hangers. Um, and now I regret not buying more because I'm obsessed with making these paper dolls. And something in me wants to like hang them all around my whole um studio craft magic repeat gina right hi i think it's gina tell me if i'm wrong um so i oh no she's not in here um my dogs we're always doing a dog head count does anybody else have a multiple dog household where you're constantly doing a dog head count <laughs> like we're always doing that um 
So I regret not buying more. Now it's not pretty on the back, but we are going to make one into a journal card and then one we're just going to keep regular since they're just like paper doll dresses. That's what they look like in the back, but you can add cardstock and make it a journal card. And I think that's what we'll do today. So this is one of them. She has five styles that come with the digitals. Um, I'm not being paid. This is in no way any sort of like collab or anything. I just asked her if I could make these on my live and she very graciously said yes. So I purchased these. I also purchased one of her linen packs because they are amazing. And so far, I think this is my favorite one. But let me show you what they look like. They're so cute. I was gonna try to have them all cut out before I came on this live, but now you're gonna have to cut them all out with me. Sorry, everyone. <gasps> Two Casa de Papel is here. See, now you can all just tap on her name and go to her Etsy shop and her YouTube. And like I said, you can have a way better tutorial. Thank you, friend. Hi, Doreen. Oh, yes, yes, I recognize you. Hi, Doreen. Oh my gosh, right, Christine? I, I'm telling you, I need 100. Okay, so now you all, I linked to Casa de Papel in the description, but she's also right here. You can just tap on her name. So tap away, go follow her and come back. Um, but these are what they look like. They come with five of them. They even come with all these little extras, you guys. Oh, look at you guys. These are incredible. Literally, when I saw these, she posted on my Instagram and I was like, oh, I think I ran over immediately and purchased. <laughs> I died. I was like, I just have to have them. I have to have them all. And they did not disappoint you guys. Hi, the UK. Well, welcome, Sammy. Um, this is my favorite one. And it even has the cowboy hat. Shut up. These are so cute. Okay, so I printed these. You can just print them on your home printer. I printed mine at Staples. So if you're in the US, I printed mine at Staples and I use the executive paper. It's like right in between like cardstock and regular printer paper. And I don't know if you could tell, but it's actually a little bit glossy. So it makes them, oh my gosh, so pretty. Right, right. Oh, Susan, hello. Aren't they the cutest thing you've ever seen? Yeah. So like I said, all her information is linked in the description. If it's not tappable, I'll fix it after. So sorry. I copy and pasted. So those are all of them. These one, This set is for my daughter because she's also obsessed. So she was like, Mom, I need all of them for my journal. And I said, you got it, kid. She's not a kid. She's 24, but she'll always be a kid to me. So I'm also not just going to use the little goodies. I also have some like paper flowers I also have um I have a good stash of vintage lace that I think see I'm gonna put on the bottom actually this lace was from you Jasmine are you still there you sent that to me um but I thought I would use some vintage lace like this one has a little bit of purple vintage lace on there um so I'm gonna use a little bit of vintage lace so we'll add that and then I also have ribbon although i'm not sure if i'm like vibing on using the ribbon my youngest daughter abby is in high school and she puts this like in her braids and in her hair so i totally stole it out of her bathroom <laughs> i mean i bought it come on so that and then the hanger and some scissors so let's do this hello hi you're new to my channel yeah, they're so cute oh you have them did you buy them at daiso you guys, I wish I would have bought more. It's like one of those giant regrets of my whole life. Like, why didn't I buy more of these? It's so dark in here. It's pouring rain, by the way. And like, I have a big window and it's just like doom and gloom. So I'm so sorry about the light. Oh my gosh, stop. Oh yeah, so cute. So cute. Yeah, Jasmine, that was the lace she sent me. Oh yeah, girl. I just want, I want to go to Mexico. Oh, I need to go on a big trip to Mexico. I want to go shop. I want to go to the beach. I want to do all the things. Um, my daughter, I have two daughters graduating. Let me, let me cut while we talk. So if I miss something, I'll come back. Um, you just need to trim it all out. I think on her tutorial, she leaves some of this stuff. I just trim it all out. So let me just show you. Um, should we make the purple one or the, let's make the purple one. We'll probably make both, but let's start with the purple one. So I'm just going to start trimming it out. She used like really cute little like um, scissors that are like textured. I don't know how to use those very well. So as you can see, let me move this way so you actually can. Um, I'm just gonna do my best. So I have two daughters graduating this year, one with her master's degree um, in about less than four weeks. And then I have another daughter graduating from high school 
um, in what, early June. And so I have two graduation parties coming. Um, yes, I'm going to be poor for a while, <laughs> but so, but my, my oldest daughter now save all these goodies, you guys, if you don't want to use real lace, she also includes all this like paper lace. And then I use the boat. Look at the crown. You guys. I'm, I can't even tell you. This is so like my vibe. I can't even tell you vintage Mexicana, all the good stuff. Hi, Carolyn. How are you? Oh, yay. I'm so glad. Um, yeah, it's Staples is the best. You guys, it's so dark in here. I was in such a rush to get things together. I'm so sorry, but like even my eyes, I'm like, oh darn, I can't even read. Um, okay, so I have those two graduation parties, but my oldest daughter, her theme is going to be um, for all those who came before me because she is one of the first. My sister did also get her master's degree against all odds. I talk about her all the time. Um, my amazing freaking little sister who, ugh, I just wanna be her when I grow up, even though she's younger than me. She's the best. Um, anyway, she has her master's degree, but Lizzie is the second in our family um, on my side to graduate from college. She has her bachelor's degree and now she's getting her master's degree. So the theme, all those who came before me, um, she wants to have a whole, we're gonna have a whole setup with like pictures of my dad and my mom and my grandma and um, our aunts and uncles and people who kind of paved the way for her to have the opportunity to go to college. I won't cry. Anyway, so it's very exciting. And there's going to be a lot of like Mexican pottery and we're going to have Mexican candy and we're going to have a taco man. It's going to be like magical. A Mexican dream come true. Oh my God. Are they really Jasmine? Is he graduating from high school? Is he going to college or trade school or what's he doing? Abby needs to choose. She needs to commit. She has several offers. And now she's in that like, I don't know. I'm like, well, you better pick. You got a week or two. Um, I know, Morgan, it's very special. And I'm even going to rent like one of these big like wooden display things. I'm going to put her robe and then we're going to have pictures of like my grandma and my mom and everybody around it. And so, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be really neat. And my aunt is going to come who I love. She's the best. My aunt Rose. I talk about her all the time. OK, so here's what we did. I cut it all out. <clears throat> I believe on the Tu Casa de Papel tutorial, she actually keeps it more of a square, but I completely cut it out. Probably if you kept it more of a square, it would be easier. <laughs> but you know me, let's do things the hard way. Um, the party thing was so special. Oh, thank you, Levi. Hello, Christine, how are you? Um, okay, so what we're going to do, and I'm gonna tilt this down so I may miss some of the comments. Um, your mom's graduation and then Wow. Oh my God. Your mom is like me. We're just like, Ooh, there's a lot of mom stuff happening. So I'm going to tilt this down a tiny bit. So you have your paper. The first thing you're going to do is fold it in half so that all the sides meet. If you have um, trouble seeing what I'm doing, um, you can actually zoom in. I know this isn't the ideal way for a tutorial, but um, like I said, head over to her YouTube because she has a way better one. Um, so now we have like a card, open it up and we're going to fold these two pieces in. I actually have notes in case I forget <laughs> how to do it right. I remember I saw similar paper doll origami paper doll dresses like this. And we're going to do once and we're going to do it on the other side too. Um, and I was like, Ooh, yeah, that looks too hard. I'm not trying that. But then when I saw these ones, I was like, I guess I'll learn. Um, and I'm glad I did because I'm obsessed now. Okay, so now we have it folded and we have it folded. We have it folded like this. So you're going to want to keep it in a little bit of a square. And you're going to want to fold it. You're going to want to, oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, yeah, okay. So now you're going to want to open it. Lies. Open it up. See how we have that? That's what we want it to look like eventually. So we're going to fold it again with the sleeves and the dress coming to the middle fold. And you're gonna to wanna to use your bold fold, bone folder because you want these nice, nice and crisp. I see, I haven't had enough coffee. So that's what you want. See that? And we're gonna do it to this side too. Hi, Hannah. Sometimes Hannah makes an appearance. My daughter, she's my middle daughter. I have three daughters. Goodness, goodness. Okay, so this is what we have. See how it's starting to look like a dress? 
There we go. Hi, everyone. Hello, hello. Sorry if I miss you. Okay, I gotta look at my notes. What do we do next? Um, fold inward. Okay, so now we're gonna fold left. Unfold. Okay, sorry, I couldn't remember. There are two lines. She makes this so easy for you. I don't know if you can tell, but there are actually two lines here. So that bottom line, you're gonna fold, you're gonna fold it right down. See, I need to do it closer to me so I can actually make sure it's like on that line. Do you see that? Okay. I love these paper doll dresses, you guys. Okay, so now we have a dress, fold it in half. Go ahead and fold it back up. And then we're gonna have this line meet this line. And we're gonna have to put a little fold in the middle. So can you see what I'm doing? See, we're gonna fold it right up. This might make more sense when I bring it up. See that? Okay, so now it's like, now we're actually getting like a dress. It's like happening now. Okay, now. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we need to create like a skirt part, like a pleat. See how these have pleats, like you can see in there? We're gonna be making our little pleats. Um, oh, my dog's trying to break in. Come in, Ellie. Okay, so now we're going to, Stacy's here. Did I miss her? Hi, Stacy. Okay, so now we're gonna pull out the dress. So we're just gonna do this. Do you see what I'm doing? I'm just kind of pulling, I have to do it on a flat surface. Hi, Ellie. Hi, baby girl. I can't pet you right now. Sorry. Okay, so we pulled one side out. And we're going to pull another, the other side out, too. And don't worry, I'll show you in a sec if you can't see. Okay. So that's what we have. Pleat, pleat. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is flip it over. And do you see how we have this? You actually can't really tell on mine since I already cut it but she does this part in her tutorial, so I'm gonna do it too. You can actually fold these down and then that way all of that little bit you won't see in the front. So let me see, we're gonna fold like a little triangle. I'll show you. See, we folded those down. And now we're just gonna open it up. Again, it's like less of an issue when you cut it the way I do, but and then we're gonna make a diamond. Mine doesn't really make a diamond because I cut it. So I don't know which way is easier, cutting it all or cutting it less. But see how we have like a little bit of a diamond there and that way it created the neckline. You can't see anything. And we're almost done, hang in there. <laughs> so now obviously it looks like one of those big like old fashioned dresses. We want to create a waistline. So we're gonna actually fold these in in diagonal on both sides. So it's very simple. Just go right at that waistline, cinch it in. We want a Selena waistline. Cinch it in and fold with your bone folder. And that's it, folks. That's it. Easy peasy. Now we get to decorate, which is like the totally fun part. Um, I think it would be really fun to create a journal card though. So what I'm gonna do is glue down these little flaps. I'm gonna use my fabric tack because fabric tack is what I live for. Hello, hi Ava, how are you? Um, how do I put stickers on my junk journal, on my junk journal ideas? I don't think I know what you're talking about. I mean, I'm sure I do, I just need to, um, stickers, how do I put stickers on there? I'm just gonna glue these flaps down, guys. Um, if you ask the question on the YouTube, I'll, I'll answer it when I get off because I don't think I understand. I'm just gonna glue all this down and I'm gonna show you why in a second. I also wanna add some lace while we're here, you guys. So let's add some lace, obviously purple, or should I add pink? Should I add blue? Okay, what color? Let me see. I know Francie, right? Are you dying? I'm dying. It's the cutest ever. Okay, oh, we also have all this cute little stuff that came with it. Let's put a bow on it. I'm not gonna lie, these beautiful bouquets she adds, I'm actually gonna put cardstock on the back and make journal cards. They're so pretty, you guys. This is probably, I'm not a huge digital person. Um, I really like using mostly vintage pages and then I just use double-sided cardstock. 
but I do love linens. I love Johanna Klaus linens. I love Emma Duran's linens. And now I've purchased some from Picasso de Papel. Um, they are to die for. And if you love strawberries, one of them is like a vintage strawberry print. So obviously I love strawberries. So I'm just cutting out the, the little bow, you guys. And these are so realistic looking. I'm so into this. Okay. Let's see here. I have a birthday dinner tonight too for my best friend, my friend, Marie. I'm sorry, I actually meant to have all of these things cut out so you wouldn't have to sit here and watch me cut everything out. Look at how cute. I think she means how to add stickers to, oh, 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 oh easy. I just throw them all in there. <laughs> you guys, I go live on Patreon three times a week. And every Tuesday, it's like a journal with me and I journal in my overflow journal. And you see that pretty much I just, it's just a very free flowing process. And I love it. I like it to me, it's so relaxing. Okay, I think I'm gonna put it right there, you guys. See, won't that look cute? I'm so excited. Oh, I'm also gonna glue that down. And then what we'll do is we will, I'll show you how I plan on putting cardstock on the back to make this like a journal card. Okay, so we're all glued down. I'm just gonna put a little glue on my paper and you can use real ribbon. And then we'll also add some trim and then we'll make it. Okay, you guys, stop. This is the cutest thing ever. Does anybody have fun plans today? Fill me in, give me the goods. I wanna know. I'm excited. Oh my gosh, you guys. Stop. Stop it. Cannot. It's the cutest ever. Um, okay, so what color trim do we need? Oh yes, the bow. Oh, right. The bow is everything, right? Right. I can't. It looks real, Stacy. I know. I'm dying. Okay, let me move these out of the way. Because my plan is to make hundreds of these. Okay, so these are all vintage laces. Should I do? Should I do oh, I kind of love the blue blue i mean i have this really pale pink nay um i have this darker blue oh i don't know that one's kind of pretty and then purple but i feel like purple is a little bit on the nose like purple and purple it's a little boring you know me the clown the clown prefers color okay so which one do we prefer the darker blue hi allison you're planning on using a vintage Oh, wow. Princess Diana. I love her. Love. She was the best. Finishing up a journal. Oh, oh, I love that, Morgan. I love that. The darker blue. Are we thinking darker blue? I'm, I think I'm with you. I feel like it adds more of a pop. Okay. That's all I needed was the push into the darker blue. Morgan, that is exciting. Okay. So I'm just going to cut a little bit. Now you're thinking, how are you going to get that giant piece on there? I'm not. I'm going to trim it. Yeah, darker blue. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to trim it in half, you guys. So this is an awesome way because you can actually use one of these thicker pieces of lace for like multiple dresses. Okay. Oh, and let me get rid of this trash. Although I'm going to save the little crown. Cute. Okay, so let me move this. All of my Patreon members here know that I always forget to bring my trash can. And yeah, again today, forgot. I'm not going to go grab it now. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to put a tiny bit of glue on the bottom. Let me get some parchment paper. And then we're going to press that lace right onto the bottom, right onto the bottom. Okay. Fabric tech. Can you see? You can see. And I'm going to be generous. Raise your hand if you're an over gluer. I am unapologetically. But you know what? My stuff stays together. And then I'm just going to glue it all around the bottom. With a little bit hanging out so it looks cute. And then you could even squish it. See how I'm kind of squishing it together? I'm so into this, you guys. Why do I feel so excited like I'm in first grade again? Like so excited for art time? <laughs> like that's how I felt leading up to this live. I was like, oh my gosh, it's my moment to shine. This is my strength. Simple crafts. So fabric tech dries pretty quick, so that's good. Um, oh my God, how cute, what are those little hands? 
Uh, I think that would be beautiful journal. There's so many. Oh, yes, I do love Princess Diana. Is that who we're still talking about? I love her. Okay, so as you can see, it's on there. I'm just going to trim the excess. Yes. And I know fabric tack is expensive, you guys. But honestly, it's just so worth it. Okay, just just stop with this. Just how cute is that? Can you guys see it even looks a little ruffled? I can't. Oh my god. Okay, so let's make this into a journal card, like usable. Oh, I know, right? Stacy, is that what you teach, Stacy? You're so cute. Whenever I see all your posts, ridiculous. Your dollhouse. Ugh, I just want to live there. All your dogs. It's like a dream. It's a wonderful dream. Okay. So let's get some scraps. I was just telling everyone over on Patreon that like I'm at like max capacity with scraps. So I have to do projects that include them because I don't like throwing them away. So I have tons of these. Do any of my other journaler friends have these? Because you're like cutting them for your journal. So you like these, these half folded pieces of cardstock. <laughs> There's so many, it's ridiculous. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna cut it in half. But I saved them because the cardstock's so pretty and those are big pieces, you know? So the good news is, what I realized yesterday is they are perfect to use as backing for your paper doll dress. Ooh, I probably should have cut the bottom first because now my lace is in the way. Can I take it off and go, okay, here we're gonna, no, 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 yep, yeah, no. Okay, we're gonna start over. I'm gonna take the lace off. Good thing it didn't dry all the way. I'm gonna glue it on first and then we're gonna leave a little space to add the lace again. Okay, that just got complicated. So I took the lace off. We're gonna glue it on here. We're gonna trim it all out, but we're gonna leave a little bit of part not glued, it, glue, glued so that we can add the lace. Let me show you. I'm not a very good like, I don't say it very well, but um, you've taught third through seventh. Now you're teaching first. What do you like the most? Uh, where did you say you got your, oh, Target, Sammy, Target, isn't she cute, Target, and if you like Strawberry Shortcake, it's not exactly Strawberry Shortcake, but our theme on Patreon next month is very, very, it's like kind of Strawberry Shortcake, and the journals will probably be Strawberry Shortcake. Who makes American, oh, who makes greeting cards, what? Okay, here, so let me show you, I'm going to glue about, I'm going to leave about an inch and over glue, over glue. There's no shame in over gluing. I'm going to start a support group. You cannot shame me. <laughs> Not that any of you would, <laughs> but the world might. Put it right down onto your paper and then just press down. We're going to need a minute because we want it all the way pressed down. Good. I can catch up on messages. Oh, these, oh my God, yeah, they would, Christine. The dresses, can you even imagine? Oh, yes, Morgan, yes. Didn't you see? Did you miss the live where I showed the vintage strawberry shortcake sheets? I'll show them again. Yes, I bought, they're gonna be upcycled from vintage strawberry shortcake sheets. I'm so excited. The little child in me is jumping up and down. Okay. Oh no, no Target in the UK. Oh, boo hiss. You did enjoy middle school. Oh, really? Ooh. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Oh my God, I know. It's going to be fun. Gina, right? Did, did I miss you respond to that? Um, Oh no, we can talk. Let me let me see how many I can make. I'm kind of limited on journals mainly because it's all like it's going to be vintage, but we might be able to work it out. <laughs> Message me, Jasmine. Okay, so let me trim. Now that it's all glued on, we're just going to trim, and then we might even um, add some Tim Holtz Distress Ink because oh, you guys know I'm not the best cutter in the world, and that is okay. I'm going to give myself grace for being a bad cutter. I have other strengths. Cutting is not one of them. Neither is sewing. 
I mean, I can sew a junk journal well, but if you're trying to put me on a sewing machine, ugh, patterns, it's like so much math. Not my jam, guys, not my jam. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to trim the bottom and then we'll re-add our lace again. I just wasted glue, but that's okay. We're okay. We're okay with that. We're okay. This will make a really great journal card though. Or or like, who is it? Did Morgan say? A, oh no, Christine said a greeting card. Can you even imagine getting this? Okay, so this is what we have so far. So see, you could write all in the back. So cute. So cute. No trash can because I'm, you know, me. Tim Holtz distressing. I'm missing everything. Oh, darn. And my eyes are so bad. Okay, Francie. Currently making a heart. Oh, heart. Jasmine, I want one. You need to sell these things. I have a thing for heart shape. I'm just adding a little bit of distressing. Not a lot. I'm going really like light handed. I don't want it to look vintage per se. I just want to cover up the fact that I'm a bad cutter. Okay, so you can hardly tell, but it, what it did is it covered any white that I might've missed. And I'm also going to do the back. And you could use something that's like more writing friendly. I have no problem writing on cardstock printed cardstock but if if you're like visually if it's not something that is good for you you could even just use like lined paper or white cardstock cream colored cardstock um i just really wanted to use my scraps i hate i hate throwing things away but i also hate having too much stuff everywhere so okay so we've made our journal card but we've left a little bit of space so that we can re-add that lace so now I'm just going to put a little bit more glue and re-add the lace. It usually wouldn't be this complicated if I would have thought that through, but I did not. Yes, we are all children at heart. That's why Francie and I get along so well, because we are. I'm a total child, and I'm okay with that. I embrace my child, my child vibe. Okay, so now I just, I hope you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just re-sticking it back in. Actually, this is a lot easier. And I'm going to put a little bit more glue on the top of the lace. I'm going to stick it all in. I'm just going to squish it in there. No shame. I'm going to put my cap back on because this is how I make my fabric tack last to the very last drop. I do not mess around with fabric tack. It's expensive. And I get every single teeny tiny drop out of it. I'm not going to waste any of it. Not, none at all, folks. And the way I do that is I always put the cap on. I know that it's kind of a pain, like you're trying to just create and finish, but it's worth it, you guys. I get every drop, like every single drop. This is so cute, you guys. I'm just going to trim up the ends one more time because it almost lined up, but not exactly. Actually, I actually did. I glue all over me. Okay, ta-da! How cute. See, the lace hangs out, but you can't see. If you had a hanger, you could keep that in there for this. But um, I only have one left, so I think I might save it for my daughter. But isn't that adorable? I have died. I don't like fabric tack you use. Oh, tacky glue. Is it really good? I feel like I should branch out a little bit. I do love PVA glue for certain things like paper products, but pretty much I use fabric tack for everything else. I use glue stick in my journals. And then I just use tape runner or just double-sided scotch tape for like pictures and stuff. Okay, do you wanna make one more? Do we have time? We can make one more. Let's make the blue one. Cause that's the, I think the only one I don't have now. Um, adorable. Oh, yay, I'm so glad. She's so fabulous. Um, you could use this lace on the trim of your journal. So be careful not to cut that if you don't plan on using it. Um, because it comes with all these really cute little bits. Um, maybe we could put, no, this one's got little bows. This is so cute. I also get to go prom dress shopping. Does Eileen's, oh, good question. I also get to go prom dressing next, prom dress shopping next week with my high schooler. It's her very last prom. 
and she wants to go to downtown LA to look at all those dress shops in um, like the fashion district, which is something she's never wanted to do. So I'm excited. It must be famous on TikTok. <laughs> That'll be fun. I bought my oldest daughter's prom dress there too. Um, they are not cheap, contrary to popular belief, but it is fun. And they are beautiful. I mean, I guess they're much less expensive than you would pay for one here, like at a mall. But they're very detailed, very beautiful, floor length, like gowns. I'm excited. It'll be fun. Make a whole day of it, get some churros. Oh my gosh, what am I doing here? This blue dress is pretty. Cinderella vibes. Mm, it warps. It's kind of like that with most glues, right, you guys? It kind of most glues do warp paper, but then it kind of chills out. I think. Am I? You know what, Jasmine? Honestly, what I have found is if you glue whatever glue you use, let it dry under some heavy brooks. That's honestly the best way. It just, that'll help any warping you have. It'll make it go away. Guys, I have such a mess. Okay. I can't believe I forgot my trash can. Um, oh, you're in Christine. Hi, Christine. And you're in Vegas. Hi, Christine. Okay, so we're going to fold it in half. I'm just going to go ahead and do it so you can watch. Because last time <clears throat> I did it too slow, probably. You were like, get on with it. Fold. Fold inward. Again, if you wanted a better tutorial, just head over to Tu Casa de Papel. It's so good. I've watched it like four times. Okay. Fold the out the last pieces inside into that fold that we just made. It was so funny. I don't know why I was intimidated by making these at first. I was like, nope, not for me. And then I was like, okay, maybe for me. <laughs> We're going to go to that line. We're going to fold it under. This is literally Cinderella vibes. Latina Cinderella vibes. And then we're going to pull this line up to this line. She makes it so easy since she added those lines for us. Oh, this is so ridiculously cute. I can't even. Um, oh, you got to go. Okay, bye, Sammy. <clears throat> Enjoy shopping. I know. Isn't it adorable? I love it. We're going to fold these in. And then we're going to make that little diamond. Like I said, I think because of the way I cut it, I don't think I need to do this step. But, I mean, I'm doing it anyway. Why do I feel like I have a hair on me? I just saw it in, like, my peripheral. <clears throat> All right, we're getting there, folks. Yeah, perfect. Made a little neckline. Cute, cute. And now we're going to fold these over. Oh, actually, we need to pull this out first. I forgot. Got to show all those cute bows. Oh, my gosh, you guys. This one is adorable. Literally ridiculously cute. I feel like I did it crooked. Oh, well. We're going with it. This is what we got now. Stop it. And then maybe I'll put the hanger on this one since it's the last one. Uh, hopefully I can get back to Daiso. I'm really hoping they still have some of those hangers. Ta-da! Oh, look at the little bows. I cannot handle it. Good morning! Hello! How are you? Hello! Isn't that cute? Okay, who has made these dresses before? Raise your hand. Or is this like your first time, like me? I can't believe I came this far. Actually, at Christmas time, the one origami thing I know how to make is a piano. <laughs> and yes, I know how to make a piano. We had Japanese students when I was young um, stay in our home. And um, they taught me how to make a piano. And I've never forgotten. I think I was probably in first grade, second grade. And um, so we made Christmas ornaments using an origami piano. That was fun. But how cute would these be as Christmas ornaments? <gasps> Stop it. I have um, the cutest ideas now. 
just getting back. Oh, you're just getting back into crafting. You were holding off on getting these because your printer isn't working. Yeah, do staples because it's so pretty, Stacy. It's not that expensive, especially if you're just printing like a few. You could never imagine. It is, I know, right? So cute. I'm dead. Adorable. And then look at all these extra little things you get. I'm so excited. Got distracted by upset. Oh, no, Jessica's here. My girl, Jessica. Jessica and I go back. We've been, we've been frenzies here forever. Like, honestly, forever. I feel like it's been forever. I'm just going to cut out the bows, I think. This is your first time making Oregon. Oh, is it really? Oh, right. Me too. What is your name again? I keep calling you Tukasa. <laughs> Tell me your name. I'm so bad with names. These are gorgeous. In case you can't tell, I'm completely obsessed. Keep the gold tree up. <gasps> Do it, Stacy. Do it. Do it. Yes, Jessica forever. BFFs forever. Okay, I'm just cutting out these little bows, you guys. Here, I'll come closer so you can see. Um, yeah, it's literally been forever. Jessica and I have been, and Stacy too. I feel like Stacy, we've been, we've palled around forever too on here. Oh gosh, this is like, can I pay someone to come cut these out for me though? <laughs> I'm not a good cutter. I'm trying my best. I need my little brownies patch that says trying her best. Speaking of little goodies, I started a fun new little thing on Patreon. Um, every month I'm making a friendship pin to like go with the theme for the ephemera tier and up. And really it's just the ephemera tier and up because I have to ship it. It can't go in a it can't go in like a stamp. Um, and this month they're little teeny tiny thrifty day blockbuster cards so next month it'll be something strawberry since we're doing strawberry stuff but isn't that cute so you can collect them it'll be like a monthly collection and i think i'm going to make like a little swap banner so you could see them throughout the months i just think it's fun like a little friendship pin and they're just going to be cute little cutesy things but i think it's fun like you can show how many months you've been on my patreon by your um friendship pins that you collect Oh, Ivette. Hi, Ivette. 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 Am I saying it right? Tell me if I'm saying it wrong. Ivette. What a pretty name. It's funny. You love making them, but you hate fussy. I know, right? Jessica, who am I? I? I think you, you can start collecting them. Love it. Love it. Isn't it fun? Oh, Lisa's here. Hi, Lisa. Um, oh, here I am. Me and all my clowniness. But yeah, I just think it's really fun because I think it's a cute way to sort of, you know, we're in a club, a crazy little clown crafty club. It is fun being on here. I'm going to try to do this more often. Oh my gosh, you guys doing her best. Gosh, I really am not a fussy guy. It shows you how much I want these paper dolls to be made because Jessica is right. I am. I don't even like the name fussy cutting. I don't know why that bothers me. <laughs> it does. Okay. So now we have these two little bows. I think I'm going to put them here and here, like on the sleeves. Oh, and I forgot. If you wanted on I Bet's Tukasa de Papel's YouTube, she shows how to make the sleeves puffy too. But I kind of want mine flat because I'm going to hang them. So I'm keeping mine flat. Oh, you just got back from, oh, that's right. You just, oh, Carolyn asked something. Sorry, I missed some, missed it. Carolyn, what did you say? Yes. Oh, oh, good. I know, right? Christine, they're so, they're like this big. They're so, they fit in Stacy's dollhouse. <laughs> oh, do you really? Oh, that's right. Oh, they're so fun. To make a, oh my gosh. I Okay. Okay. Let me glue while I talk. The only thing about Cricut, my daughter has one. It's like a whole nother step. I have to put things in. Somebody else said like a silhouette cuts things for you. Like, yeah, but then you need to like, I don't know, I, I just, well, I think what it comes down to is I'm a big old complainer. <laughs> 
I just got big old complainer, that's all. Okay. Oh my, you guys, I'm dead. This is it. This is it. I'm the cutest ever. Stop it. Just stop. I feel like we need a bow here. Do I have an extra bow somewhere? Let's see. Should I put a pink one? No, no, not pink. This has got to stay blue. Um, you know what? Let's just do lace. I'm not going to make this one a journal card. I'm going to add the hanger. So let's go ahead and add some lace. I'm going to add that pale blue, I think. Oh my gosh, you guys. If you could see my studio right now, it is just like piles. I mean, it's like organized, but it is piles stuff just everywhere i've had this vintage lace for a while now and i'm always so hesitant to use it because i'm such a crafty supply hoarder i'm going to cut it in half okay maybe i can put some flowers let's see okay where's my so chaotic when i do this okay so now we're just going to add the lace to the bottom all the, right, it is total Cinderella vibes. Going to see how you stitched it. Oh, oh, it's so easy. Oh my gosh, it's literally the easiest thing. Um, I just use tape. <laughs> I'll show you. Let me add this on first. <clears throat> I don't know why I'm dying today. I guess if you're on my Patreon, you know I'm dying every day. Allergies. Okay, a little bit of glue, and then I'll get that hanger out, and you'll see. I literally just use tape. It's like not anything magical. The trick with using those hangers, though, is um, it probably is best to put a back on them. I mean, I'll tell you more once I do this, but because that way they'll stay in place. And I'll tell you a little secret while I'm holding this down. Um, I don't know if staples can do it, so you might have to do this on your home computer, or maybe you can format it that way and send it to them. To use the hanger to make it really cute, mirror this image. So like the paper doll, you'll want it one way. And then on your computer, you can tap mirror, like if you're in like one of your um, editing apps, and it will flip the image so that when you cut it out and you make it, it will be the other way so that it will fit perfectly on the back. That may not make sense. I don't know if I'm explaining that right. But in other words, like all of these little pieces like don't exactly match up but if you mirror it like in other words you'll have one like this and one like this you can just kind of put them on top of each other so it will look like exactly the same dress on the front and the back and then the hanger if it moves it will be exactly the way, same way so if you really want to be fancy you can mirror the image and that way they'll fit perfectly on top of each other okay i added the lace it's ruffled and cute. I'm going to trim it. And then I'll show you. Where did I put my hanger? Here it is. My one, my, my soul hanger. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so here, this is, again, what the package looks like. So if you're at a Daiso, they come in a pack of two. Um, let me do this. Why am I struggling? Okay, now they're metal and you just use that ultra clear scotch tape. Let me put it down so you can see. So I just place it on top. You kind of make sure that's where you want it. Place it on top. I have glue all over my fingers. <laughs> um, and then oops, flower. you use a tiny bit of tape and you just stick it on there. It, this is literally the easiest way to do it. And then you can't even see it at all. And then what you can do is either mirror the image, like I said, so that if you really wanted to be specific or you can use a piece of cardstock and put it on top and just cut around it. I'm not gonna do that because mine will just be hanging on the wall. Oh, I cut too much tape, hold on. Um, Mine's just going to be hanging on the wall. No one's going to see the back. So I'm not going to go that like extra mile. But I have done that before. I'm trying to think what journal they're in. Remember when I did a paper doll month on Patreon, you guys? Um, I have done that before where I mirrored the image um, and I used hangers. 
So I, I put them in my journal. I'm just not sure which one. I'll look. See, but that's it. It and it stays on. It's like there's. It's nice and secure. I'm not worried it's going to go anywhere. Um, so, like I said, if you wanted to cover all of that, though, like if you're going to use it for a journaling card, go ahead and um, glue. Where's my piece? What I would do is I would glue everything up to except where the hanger is going to be. Glue it all down. Make sure it's secure. Add the hanger and then glue the hanger in between. That's how you make it so that you don't have to see all the stuff on the back. And still just use that same scotch tape to hold it in place and use ultra clear. Like don't use um, frosty scotch tape. Make sure that it is totally transparent scotch tape. Oh my gosh, isn't that so pretty? Should I add a flower? Nah. Nah, no, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm not gonna fuss. Okay, so that's the way it is. Yeah, mirror the image. <laughs> yes, I hope there are. Aren't they so cute? Oh my gosh. Okay, so these are the ones we have. Let me show you guys. Oh, glue. Let me grab them. Wait, I have one more, don't I? Hold, please. Let's see here. Oh yeah, where's the one that we made a journal card? Oh, there it is. Okay. So, the, okay, let me see. I know... I feel like those paper dolls were in one of these journals so I could show you if I can't find it quickly don't worry we'll just move on but I'd like to be able to show you how good it looks when you mirror the image um, okay I guess it wasn't in here I really did think it was Darn. okay all right, no, I don't know. I really thought it was here. Boo, this tomato, tomato, tomato. Oh, well, I really don't know which one it would be in otherwise then. Hmm. I don't think, that's so weird. Oh, well, if I could find it, I will get them and I will post them on my Instagram shorts so that you guys could see. But, okay, here's the one we made. Uh, where did I get, they're from Daiso. Daiso, Daiso, Daiso. Oh, I, but Lisa, I think, I think, didn't, Jasmine, didn't you say that Daiso has a website? I don't know if they're on there, but I, from what I understand, I think Daiso does have a website. So you could try that. Um, did you ever make a video on how to make? Yes. Yes, Doreen. There are, there's the videos. I think I have two journal charm videos on YouTube. And I also have one on TikTok. Yes. Yes, you can find that. So there's the purple one we made into a journal card. Cute. And then these are all the ones with hangers. My four hangers that I'm hoarding. I don't think you can purchase the die. Oh, no. Oh, boo. That's such a bummer. Cute, right? Cute. I love that one. I don't know which one's my favorite. My daughter loved this one. She said that one was her favorite. And the blue one. I feel like this needs a bow here or something. I'll add it later. Isn't that so cute? So anyway, that is it for today. If anyone has any questions, be sure to drop them. Or if I miss something, please re-ask because that means I was just creating them. You guys, they're like trading cards. <laughs> well, online. So, oh, darn. Oh, thank you. Jennifer's here. I didn't know you were here, my friend. I love you. I miss you. Uh, look at, aren't these adorable? I know, strawberry is my queen. All hail, queen strawberry. Um, okay, this might be a cute swap. You know, we do swaps on um, my Patreon. We have like a little swap group. And um, this might be cute, you guys. Might be cute. You could like really decorate it up. I don't know. We'll think about it. I'm still trying to figure it out. Uh, isn't that cute? I cannot even. Oh my gosh! Look at all the whole Narod family is here. <laughs> oh, you guys, these are so fun. Okay, so thank you, Yvette. These are from Two Casa de Papel. Let me know if those links links are clickable. I'll check when I get off to make sure that they are because I want you all to be able to purchase these. You guys, they're like 
it's so inexpensive. And then to print them, you can either use your home printer or just go to Staples or just, and you can do it all from home. Like that's the beauty of Staples and like those office supply stores. You just send them from home and then you just go pick them up. You can even pay for them. It'll just be done. They just hand it to you. It's like, you don't talk to anybody. It's like a dream. Uh, I think you have been fun. Oh, it's been so fun spending time with you too, my friend. I do have a Facebook group. It's for Patreon members only, but I do have a Facebook page. If you're on Facebook, Doreen, I have a Facebook page. And I think it's just called Thrifty Day. I can't remember now. Uh, you love the one with the, I know, I know. Did you really fancy? I know this one's my fave, my daughter's favorite too. That she's, when she came over yesterday, she was like, oh my gosh, mom, that one's my favorite. So, um, my, I think my favorite is this one. I still love that pink one. There's something about that bodice with like the little buttons. I love it. So, okay. It was magical hanging out with all of you. I'm so glad you had fun. I had fun too. We'll definitely do this again. And I'm going to post some videos of these over on Instagram. So if you're not following me, head over there so you can see. And I am going to save this live. So if you wanted to come back and reference it, or you can go over to um, Yvette at Two Casa de Papel. And hers is much better. But it was fun to chat. So, all righty, friends. Oh, you are so welcome. So good to talk to you, Lupe. I didn't even know you were here. Um, it's always fun. So I will see you all Tuesday. If you're on Patreon, I'll be live again Tuesday. We'll be journaling together. And Monday is big Patreon ship day. Cross your fingers, send me good vibes, wish me luck. It is a full moment. Oh, yay! I love hearing that. Is your name D? That's what I call my brother. D, I love that. So cute. Um, oh, I'm so happy. That makes me so happy to hear. Yes. Save all the books. Um, can I switch tiers? I, oh, I know. The I Want It All tier is told, sold out, unfortunately. But um, this month, it's all closed because I have everything um, ready to ship. But sometimes I have extras, and when I do, I put them over in my Etsy shop. But when I have, um, when my new month starts next month, so probably on like the third, I'm going to try to open some spaces, and the theme is very, very. If you wanted to join the community tier, that's always open because there are no deliverables, but you do get the monthly digitals. You get that month digitals, whatever they are, you have access to them, and those are free. And just like these, you can print them out on your home computer. And so you don't get actual mail from me, but you do get the digital downloads. You have access to the lives, past tutorials, all that good stuff. So that's the community tier, and that's only $3. So if you want to just be part of the community and get some fun digitals, that's a neat way. If you're on Patreon, not sure what level you need to be in the food. Um, to be in the Facebook group, you just need to be on the community tier above. The community tier is the $3 tier. Um, so if you want to head over to the community tier, then you can just send a request over to the Facebook group which is the Thrifty Day Patreon group, I believe. So, yay, I'm so glad you all had fun. I did too. Okay, I will talk to you all next time.